I am looking down at a lovely specimen in the Lactarius indigo group. Uh, this is a group of species that's very distinctive, and it's a little unusual for me to find it this late in the year. It's the very end of October, uh, and typically in North Carolina and the Piedmont, we see this much more frequently in the summertime. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> when I first saw this mushroom, I actually thought that it was Lactarius paradoxus, which is a far more common, cool weather, uh, bluish, pinky um, Lactarius mushroom. So I was delighted when I flipped it over and I saw instead of uh, pink gills, which is what I would have seen with Lactarius paradoxus, this very distinctive, uh, you know, radically purple blue color. You can see I've already trimmed the stem base of Lactarius paradoxus to show you, or <laughs> Lactarius indigo, uh, to show you its most distinguishing characteristic, which is it bleeds a tremendous amount of blue juice. Um, as with other, you know, Lactarius mushrooms, uh, that comes from uh, the gills pretty substantially, so I'm going to damage them right here. And uh, so I just slice it wide open, and you will see it just um, explodes in this, you know, sort of uh, murdered smurf kind of uh, carnage here. Um, so, you know, most other mushrooms that are uh, blue or purple uh, tend more in the purple direction than the blue. Also, Lactarius indigo is unique insofar as uh, its blue juiciness is concerned. Uh, it is an edible mushroom. It is uh, kind of, you know, depending on your taste, uh, great or kind of come see come saw. The main reason that some people object to them is they don't always have a lot of flavor. And even though they're just like gorgeous, especially you get this sort of... Um, you know, uh, uh, gradiated coloration from the outside in with the blue, blue juice. Um, they do have a texture like a lot of other Lactarius and Russula mushrooms, so they're kind of crumbly. And so if you don't cook them properly um, and uh, you don't get, you know, uh, appropriate flavors sort of infused in them, they can be a little bit disappointing. Uh, that said, you know, I just love to find them because they're absolutely uh, a mess, but a beautiful blue mess. And so uh, in the interest of finger painting in the woods, I highly recommend you get to know this one. And uh, if you're feeling adventurous, uh, try ahead to go ahead and try eating it sometime. It's certainly uh, a pleasant species, kind of no matter what you end up doing with it. I am going to throw it against this tree because that's what I like to do with mushrooms that explode.